Well, I wanted to show everyone why these are called crazy worms. You see how they move. They get kind of crazy. Start moving around. And uh, they can jump right out of your hand if they want to. I've had these guys in this being here about two weeks and they seem to really be doing well uh, I wasn't real sure how they would do it first here we go because uh, these are pretty much always stick to leaf litter and uh, never have thought about trying to keep them in captivity until now but they seem to be doing pretty good they stay lively um, and uh, I don't know how much they really like a lot of the composting as far as food they seem to like the leaf no, but look at this just in a few a couple of weeks and look at this already um, these guys are gonna need new bedding soon there we go now we got some action going look at these guys there's something else aren't they uh, these are uh, to the best of my knowledge I always called them woodworms growing up uh, they're uh, very active but they also seem to be very very adept at composting so I'm hoping this little experiment turns out to be something really good uh, where I can raise these uh, as a composting worm uh, there's one of the bigger ones no I can't hang on to them uh, you can see them there they really really active um, I grew up fishing with these worms and uh, I'd uh, hate to think about how many I drowned over the years uh, and never even thought about composting with them but uh, they're definitely turning out to be something really really spectacular for at least for composting yard waste now they again I don't know how well they're gonna do with food um, and to be honest I haven't given them a lot of food I've just tried to, uh, really just trying to see if they would even do well in captivity. And they seem to be doing well, so I think I'm going to make my next step it will be to put them into a larger bed and uh, really start working with the composting and uh, see how they do with food. Okay, I uh, was thinking about this and I thought I would share a little video about how I find these worms. Um, if you can see, I've been cleaning up around the house here, uh, clearing away a lot of the old leaf debris. This house, uh, we moved into it, it's been there about four years with no one living in it. And so uh, there were just piles of leaves all around. You can actually see I've cleaned up a bunch um, around here, but this is what I want to show you. Uh, I started finding these guys. They were in down in these leaf piles like this. Um, yeah, there we go, look. You can follow me. It's a little hard to see. They're fast, uh, especially when they're in down in these leaves. But you can see these guys. See here they are. Here they come. Uh, they seem primarily they seem to stick to the surface. Uh, a good one there. Uh, they stick to the surface. Uh, you can find them underneath. Look at that guy. Man, he's going wild. Uh, but these really they they stick mostly close to the surface uh, but I found them I found them up to a foot deep in leaf waste now uh, I don't see them in hard packed ground but they definitely do turn up right in the top here uh, hey, well, guys look at these what are these guys uh, and they uh, really really uh, seem to love the leaves and uh, we'll step right over here if you can see the ground here, I don't know how well this is going to show up on video, but this ground, this is clay. And I want you to look at what the worms have done to it. Look at this. They really, really soften up the ground uh, as far as the leaf waste and uh, decomposition. They definitely speed up the process, uh, which is an exciting thing for me uh, because in the fall especially, there's some more coming up there see there um, these guys turn up in uh, 
in the late spring, early summer is when they start getting some size to them. But they really work these. Wow, look at that. Look at these guys go. Um, they really work these leaves. And uh, uh, if you can see, I'll kind of pan around here just a little bit. You can see I've got a lot of oak and poplar. So in the fall, when I'm getting uh, all the leaves on the ground, my idea is <coughs> to put together a very large <coughs> uh, bin outdoor compost. Oh, look at there. I hope, I hope this is showing up on camera. These guys, look at these guys. Aren't they something? Man, they just turn up. And I mean, this is just, I cleaned up. Well, this is 28 feet plus just a little bit here. So that one section right there. And I've probably turned up, I don't know, a couple of hundred of these worms um, just in cleaning up this one area right here. I've also got an area on the back of the house that I'm working on now. And uh, I had a lot of old rotten wood, uh, leaf litter, things like that. Uh, I'm going to pause this now and step around back and then uh, see if I can pick up some more from there. Okay, uh, this is the back. And you can see... I'll kind of pan up and around. Uh, you can see the area I've been cleaning up um, along the back wall here. Uh, this was all just overrun leaves, um, old rotten wood, things like that. This is one pile that I've piled up here. And uh, I think I probably got most of the worms out of this when I was setting my bins up a couple weeks ago. Uh, and I've been letting this stuff just kind of sit here and decay. Look at that. There's, uh, there's some back in here already, and this is after I cleaned these out. Um, these guys come out of the ground, uh, and they just really, there's another one. They work, and you can see, uh, they really love the work of the, leaf, the, the leaf litter. Now, I've got a section up here I haven't cleaned up yet, and uh, or that I've been cleaning up, but I haven't disturbed. But I noticed a lot of worms in it this morning. You see all the rotten wood and stuff. And, Look here, here, look here, right on top. Look at there. No, nice one. These guys just love us, though. Frog, too. <laughs> look at that. Uh, these guys love this rotten. Uh, if it's decomposing and it's wet, uh, it's got to be wet. Uh, they do not like. Oop, here we go. Look. It's starting to crawl out of the ground now. Uh, these guys just absolutely work these leaf piles and these old wood piles there's some more here you can follow them uh, they work these old rotten anything anything decomposing uh, these guys seem to love it that's a nice one there look at that uh, there's one that one just crawled out if you can see it right here it just crawled out from under some of that you disturb the ground these guys come up and uh, uh, kind of move around I'm going to be working this pile up tomorrow and uh, probably going to move all of these into that compost pile there and then I'm going to put that one in a bin. Uh, I've got another small pile going here. I wonder if there's anything in this one. I didn't really harvest many out of this one today, a few, and look at that already. These guys are just everywhere. Uh, so. Uh, there's something to think about if you're uh, uh, thinking about, especially outdoor composting. Uh, think about it. Think about it. Look at it. It's another one of those really nice, mature adults. Um, but if you're thinking about doing outdoor composting, uh, you might want to poke around your pile a little bit and just see. Uh, you may find out that uh, you've got you've got friends on your side that will help. Uh, I'm willing to bet, and I don't know, I'm, no, I'm not into science that much, uh, although these guys are very fascinating. Uh, but I'm willing to bet these guys probably cut your compost time in half or maybe even a third of the time. One more pile here. Uh, again, this stuff I've, just, I've been raking it up the last few days. We raked this one up earlier today, so I, got, I think I probably farmed a lot of the worms out of it. Yeah, I don't see any right now, but nope, oh, there we go. Look at there. Nice one. Another nice one. Um, 
So these guys, they really, they really, if you've got uh, leaf litter, rotten wood, anything around your place, uh, consider letting the worms work it and uh, uh, you'll be surprised if you can get them into a, a, a composting bin. <coughs> I believe you'll find that you'll get rid of your uh, waste a lot faster and uh, at the same time, you'll also have something that you can uh, work with for the future. So, thank you very much.